Hi, I'm Chuck Colson with this week's Two Minute Warning. Last week on the Two Minute Warning, I talked about the enormously practical consequences of our worldview. How highly do we value human life? Is it sacred, that is created by God, or just the product of chance? How we answer questions like these depends on our worldview, that is our basic understanding of how the world works. And our worldview will determine how we live in the world, how we treat others, which policies we support, and on and on. It frustrates me today that so many believers do not understand that Christianity is a worldview. Christianity doesn't stop with salvation, that's only the beginning. The late great Francis Schaeffer said that beginning and ending with John 3.16 is like opening a book in the middle. Instead, you've got to start at the beginning, read how God created us in Genesis 1, then see that his word speaks to all of life, and finally it takes us to the glorious culmination of history. But Christianity is only one of many worldviews. How can we tell which one is true? Well, truth is that which reflects or conforms to reality. So one certain way to do this is to compare how the biblical worldview works out in practice against the worldviews of other belief systems, both religious and philosophical. A great theologian once argued that he started all thinking with the proposition God is. While you can't prove that, of course, he then said he could prove that any other proposition leads to an irrational conclusion. The way to do this is pretty simple. You'll see behind me a chart with four questions at the top and down the side the various worldviews listed and how they answer those questions. These are the four great questions that philosophers and all thinking men and women have asked since the beginning of time. First, where did we come from? Second, why is there suffering? Third, is there a solution? And fourth, what's our purpose in life? The question responds, we were made, created by God in His image, with innate dignity, that suffering entered the world because we were given a free will and we made wrong moral choices. We sinned. The solution, God became flesh and died on a cross to pay for our sins. Our purpose in life is to love and serve God and to advance His kingdom. Now, every worldview answers these four questions differently. For example, the secularist does not believe in sin or the fall, rather that people are good. Thus the problem is society and its institutions, and they're corrupt and need to be fixed. This leads to utopianism and ultimately tyranny, as we saw in the 20th century. Or take the Islamic worldview. Islam, for example, has no concept of grace. So the whole idea of forgiveness by God is alien to Muslims. Eastern religions, like Buddhism, teach that the world is an illusion that your purpose in life is to escape life, to become nothing. If you come to colsoncenter.org, you can download this chart with a little explanation that goes with it. You can also find the talk I give at Centurion's Weekends on this topic. I want to challenge you. If you compare the way each worldview works out in practice, you'll find only one provides a rational, sustainable way to live. And that, dear friends, is the test of truth. Get this short, handy resource, as well as a new curriculum we have called Worldview and Why It Matters, and you will find that you will be able in a loving and winsome way to show your neighbors that why you believe is not only because you have faith in the God of the Bible, but because that faith is the only rational way to build your life. I'm Chuck Colson. That's this week's Two Minute Warning.